All right, I wrote this tune here back in 2011 when I visited the graveside of uh, the late, great Bill Hicks. Bill Hicks was my favorite comedian, and I first discovered his brand of comedy around 2007 or 8, somewhere in there, and uh, he just immediately had a massive impact on everything I did going forward. So when I was headed to New Orleans in 2011, I stopped off in Mississippi to pay my respects at Bill's grave in Leakesville, Mississippi, and it was really hot that day. I'll, I'll never forget how hot it was. And I had never felt Mississippi heat before. And so when we get to the graveyard, I told my ex-wife, I was like, you know, I was like, I want to go out here and find where he's at and uh, just kind of have some alone time by myself. And I said, then when I get done, I'll send you a text. You can come out and we'll take some pictures and stuff. She said, okay. So I go out there and I'm paying my respects at his grave and it is scorching hot. And I'm wearing all black, you know. And... um as I was standing there, this light, cool rain started falling on me. It was one of those times where I was starting to get wet, but it felt so good because it was so hot that I just stood there and let it rain on me. And that's really the only thing that, you know, made me stand there as long as I did was that cool rain coming down. So finally, I texted my ex-wife, well, like, hey, you can come now and we'll take some pictures. So she did. And then we're leaving. We're driving out of there. And I'm sitting there kind of damp, you know, from the rain. And I looked over at her and I was like, you know, I said, the only thing that really saved me back there, I said, was the was that little cool rain that came down. I said, if it wasn't for that, I said, that heat was about to get to me. And she said, I've never seen any rain. And I was like, really? She's like, no, there's not one raindrop hit the car the entire time. And I said, well, reach over here and fill in my shirt, <laughs> you know? And uh, she was like, that's the craziest thing because the sun was shining where she was sitting and it was shining where I was standing too. But for some reason that rain came out of nowhere. Now, you guys know me, I'm not much of a believer in a lot of things, and I can explain stuff away pretty quick, but uh, that just stayed stuck in my head. And so when I got to my hotel room in, uh, in uh, New Orleans, I sat down and wrote this tune. I call it Sweet Magnolia. Holy books and fairy tales sitting on a shelf. Dreamers turn to doubters in this old Bible belt. Hand me down ancient words twisted by the years. Dusty roads and elbow curves take me out of here. White knuckle country folks crippled by their fear. Truth wrapped up in dirty jokes stinging in their ears. The eyes of love do realize the heart does hold the key. We always kill the good guys who try to make us see. But out in the sweet magnolia, I heard a voice whisper in the wind. There's nothing more to cry over. Eternity awaits us all, my friend. The dark poet greased his hair and wielded a microphone. A prophet's not accepted when he's still at home. The cry for revolution seemed to fall upon deaf ears as he cited evolution of a thought and new ideas. A stranger in a strange land felt the warm embrace. On the Houston Outlaw, if you recall his face. But the voice in the wilderness echoes over time. Cause simple truths linger like a newborn's lullaby. Let's find a point and understand it's time to drop the guns. Close the eyes of fear and open up the eyes of love. But out in the sweet magnolia. I heard a voice whisper in the wind There's nothing more to cry over Eternity awaits us all, my friend 